Hello, I'm Alex from Florida. I purchased a Little Wing tandem sail from Ted and Zach Warren. In this short video, I will demonstrate the false advertising Ted and Zach do related to the weight specifications of their boats. And in addition, I'll share a couple of observations that may help you make up your mind if you want to do business with Ted and Zach. So laying out over here are all the parts that make up the base boat with the Amas over there. Um, so you have the two Amas, then coming back, we have on the floor, we have the, the mainsail, we have the jib, we have the mast, we have the uh, crossbars, and then over here on the table, we have the three options that I was able to separate from the um, main boat. So on the left, we have the two trampolines. In the middle, we have the spray guards. And to the right, we have the screecher. If you will notice, um, in order to do a, a real good weight assessment, I removed from the command console the Harken blocks that are uh, part of the screecher, as well as the uh, halyard um, that is uh, built into the mast to uh, pull up the screecher. The only option I was not able to separate is uh, obviously the expedition bottom, but you can see inside the boat here, um, you can see that there's uh, there's more, the bottom here is, is much thicker than the sides, and so that's kind of proof that the expedition bottom uh, was installed. I sold my 200 pounds Hobie Tandem Island as I wanted a much lighter boat, faster boat and something easily car toppable. So I ordered the Little Wing Tandem Sail promised at 118 pounds. Please see the yellow arrow references to the weight credentials of the boat. In addition to the custom collar, I also ordered four options. I ordered the screecher, the left and right trampoline, spray guard set, and the expedition bottom. Please note that only the expedition bottom has a weight indication listed as 8 pounds, suggesting that the weight of the other options is negligible. What I received. The boat and accessories weigh 199 pounds. After adjusting out all accessories, I still have a base boat which is almost 50 pounds over the advertised weight. That is an increase of 40%. This completely negates the value proposition of buying a light boat. It is very hard to car top, hard to put in the water with two people. In addition, the boat lays deeper in the water due to the extra weight, making flooding a more pronounced problem. And last but not least, the boat is slower due to the extra weight. In addition, the paint job is poor. While this is mostly on the underside of the boat, I will show you later that this is not only aesthetically unpleasing, but also affects the boat speed as the undersprayed areas are rough to the touch. In this video, I will also demonstrate that I was delivered two left spray guards instead of one left and one right. I was never delivered the carrying toggles and reef lines. And last but not least, Ted and Zach offered no post-sale support and warranty support to address these issues. In fact, I think you will be quite surprised to see how they responded so far to my formal complaint. In a minute, you will see the evidence of me weighing all components. But let's look at the results first. On the left, I graphed the advertised weight of the fully rigged tandem sail and added 8 pounds for the expedition bottom, for a total of 126 pounds. Below, I list the other accessories that I will be weighing separately. The website does not indicate the weight of these accessories, but given the nature, it can be much. All the way to the right is what each part weighs on my industrial 400 pound capacity scale. The center kayak is 63.5 pounds, the two amas combined weigh 62.6 pounds, 
The front and rear crossbars combined are 29.4. The mast is 15.9 pounds. The mainsail and jib weigh 11 pounds. Down at the bottom, you will also see the weight of the accessories. The trampolines weigh 9.7. The screecher and halyard and command console add on 5.7 pounds. And the spray guards are 1.2 pounds. All the way in the end of the presentation, I will provide all the details related to hardware that it attached to the base boat, but should be considered as part of the accessories. On the AMAS, I need to deduct out 6.3 pounds and add it to the accessories below. On the crossbars, I need to deduct one pound and add it to the accessories. On the mast, I need to deduct out a half a pound and add it to the accessories. Once you adjust for the full 7.8 pounds related to the accessories, you end up with a base boat and expedition bottom together weighing 174.6 pounds. That is 49 pounds or 39% above the advertised weight uh, on the website. After having studied the various parts, I really came to realize that the Warren Lightcraft weight claim is truly false and a gross misrepresentation. Think about it. If you add up the kayak and AMA's weight, you only have six pounds left for the crossbars, mast, and sails. All right, let's put it on the scale. Center deck. Thirty one point four. One comma. Not a second comma. Thirty one point two. Now we are weighing front crossbar twelve point three. Now we weigh the rear crossbar. Seventeen point one. Now we weigh the mast without the screech or halyard. Now we weigh the main sail. Seven point one. Three point 
These are the two trampolines, 9.7, the spray guards, 1.2, And now I need to add the halyards, which is typically it goes inside the mast, which I removed here. And uh, the portions of the command console, which are part of the screecher, for a weight of 5.7. Okay. So I, I, we weighed all the base components of the boat. Now, there is a couple of things related to the options that are installed either on the amas or the crossbars or the mast uh, that I need to deduct out. So, uh, the, the trampolines obviously have these rails installed uh, and from the, uh, the trampoline manufacturer gave me the, the address and website of uh, the, the track manufacturer. I was able to basically find the correct weight of that. Um, these uh, blocks or this block is uh, installed for the screecher, so I would have to deduct that from the AMA and add that weight to the screecher. Then over here on the front crossbar, we have the same thing the Harkin blocks and the, the eye strap here from Harkin. I need to deduct out and add it to the weight of the screecher. Uh, there is some supplemental eye straps here. There is six on each side. So the 12 eye straps on the real crossbar that I need to deduct out and add it to the uh, trampoline weight. On the, the mast, uh, the mast here, uh, this is related to the screecher, so I need to deduct that to the screecher. And over here, the cleats, I need to deduct out the, the weight of the cleats and add that to the, the screecher. Lastly, the, the main kayak has uh, these um, uh, composite material um, uh, rails here for the spray guards. And since uh, the boat was supposed to come with carrying toggles, which it didn't, I'm not deducting the weight out because I kind of estimate that the weight of the carrying toggles equals the weight of, uh, of these strips. Another uh, observation I want to share with you uh, and is the, the, the rather poor paint job. So the, um, the, there's, there's multiple areas, for the most part, on, on the bottom of the boat, in, in some places on top, where there's just in, insufficient paint uh, coverage. So here you have this whole area, uh, which I'm sure you can see a little bit on screen, that just doesn't have enough coverage. And it's aesthetically not very pleasing, but in addition, it really um, hinders the, the, the sailing. It, it slows the boat down because it's rough. Like if I move here, you really don't hear anything. But if I go over this area, you can, you can clearly hear that, it's, that the surface is rough. The same thing here, uh, this area here, that's insufficient coverage. Then if we move over here, there's similar areas here where, where it's, it's rather rough. Here's the same thing, area not covered. There's a whole uh, area here that is uh, insufficiently covered. So, so just uh, to kind of um, point that out and, and see if, uh, let you decide if um, that's what you wanna do. So here I'm demonstrating that the spray, or spray guards that were delivered to me are basically wrong. I got a correct left one and then another left one. Uh, so the only way to work is install it upside down. Um, 
which obviously uh, aesthetically is uh, is not very pleasing uh, because really this this is the right side uh, obviously not this side this is really meant to be obviously the underside so I got delivered too over the last months I have tried to reach Ted and Zach However, they stopped responding to my phone calls, voicemails, and emails within about one month after delivery of the boat. As such, I filed a complaint with the Massachusetts Attorney General's local consumer program. Warren Lightcraft did respond to this complaint. I obtained a copy of their response, which I will show you shortly. Unfortunately, they reject any wrongdoing and refused face-to-face -face mediation. Lastly, I sent by registered mail a formal, formal 93A demand letter. As of the date of posting this video, I have not heard back from Ted and Zach. Here is Warren Lightscraft's response to the Massachusetts Consumer, Consumer Protection Program Office. In essence, they deny having been contacted by me on these issues. They claim the boat is at the right weight as ordered. They claim the paint job is within specifications, and lastly, they refuse mediation. So here's my conclusion. Warren's, Warren Lightcraft's weight claims on the Little Wing tandem sale are completely false. Go weigh yours and find out for yourself. Here are the weight adjustments I did, like on the AMAS, there is trampoline related parts. So on the left you have a 16.4 foot Keter anodized aluminum track uh, weighing 5.8 pounds and uh, 48 screws for a total um, adjustment for the trampolines on the AMAS of 6.1 pounds. And on the right hand side you have this creature related parts, uh, two eye straps, two Harken blocks and four screws. Uh, here I just pasted uh, the website, um, so Slow Sailing Canvas is the manufacturer of the trampolines and an American Keter um, uh, provides the single profile aluminum Keter rails. On the front crossbar, uh, easy adjustments, two Harken eye straps and two Harken blocks, four rivets for a total of 0 0.225 pounds. On the rear crossbar, we need to deduct out 12 Harken eye straps and 24 rivets for a total weight of 0 0.75 pounds. On the mast, we need to deduct out one Harken eye strap, one Harken block, and a cleat, and uh, two screws and two rivets for a total of uh, 0 0.537 pounds.